Hello everybody, welcome back to the JC Gamers. Now today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to play Minecraft PC edition with the Xbox controller or PS3 controller. Whew. So to do this you'll need to you obviously need to have a Xbox controller or a PS3 controller that can be plugged into the PC and used on other PC games. Or you could do that. No, you can't just get an Xbox controller. Plug in the charger port and plug it into the computer. Don't work. You'll charge it, but it won't play. <sighs> well, to do this, you're going to need a program called Xpadder, which is free for a demo. I've got it up here. Ready? Oh, I don't know what the hell's going on in there. Uh, um, which you'll get in like a folder. I might put I'll put download link to this in the description. If not, there will be you can just type in on Google X Padder. Now to run this, you'll need to go to properties compatibility. You need to run it compatibility f for Windows XP Service Pack Three because uh, because it doesn't work with Windows Seven or Eight. Otherwise. So first, once you get it open, you'll want to click on new. Uh, I don't know what's going on there, that won't happen. So you can either put an image in, I won't because I kind of bothered. So you want to enable stick one, you have to just do it left, up, then left and up, and D-pad enable. You'll have to do the up one, the down one, the left one, and the right one. Buttons and you just press every single button. So you press A X Y B. Press push down the joysticks. Uh, pe press R and B. If you're on, if you're on, uh, I've got the name of it now. Um, PlayStation. You want to press like the, the back ones, which I think is L T. Something I don't know. That's left trigger. Up. Uh, and you want to press the start and back button then you want to go to triggers and enable those if you're on xbox if you're on playstation you won't need to uh, so left and right finish close and there you go you'll get all your things so once you have it you want to do a for jump obviously so that'll be the first one so you'll click on that and then you'll press then you'll press spacebar and then forwards this one so you click on the top one and you'll want to press W and then obviously X then D then A and for moving the mouse around you want to click that one that one that one and that one. Oh, I didn't even have to check which one that was. Now for opening up the inventory, you want to press X. So you do that, and then you press E. For dropping stuff, press B, so you want to put Q. Y is... Oh, I forgot what I'll use Y for. Um, and you want to press start for escape. Escape. Uh, this trig, this press down the right trigger for uh, F5, so which is the end one. F5. It's got it to toggle the view. Uh, the movement trigger, the left trigger. You want to do that, and you want to do left shift. And... You want to do the... The D-pad. Whatever it is, that little pad thing. You want to do it, like, to change weapons. Not weapons, but whatever. Change that, so you want to do scroll. And then scroll down that one. Um, 
Now you want to do breaking blocks, so I usually do it this one. The left, the right trigger, and you want to click mouse two, and then you obviously want to do the other one as mouse one. I think that's breaking. I'm not sure, but well. Um, and back for tab, just in case you're on servers. And you can actually control the computer with it as well. Um, uh, what other controls is there? Minecraft. And you do. So, I think that's all of them. Actually, instead of using. That could be a secondary scroll, and you use these two top ones as a scroll as well. Now we've got the two top ones, the scrolls. We can change items. I think that's it, so I'll go ahead and get Minecraft up. Minecraft. What's it load? Come on. Play. And. So, <clears throat> what some time today, please, Minecraft, preferably. Ah, there we go. Oh, let's press F11. There we go. Now you might be able to see it. So, you actually want to go into options, then go into uh, your controls, and turn your sensitivity up a little bit higher. You want to go in any world? There we go. Redstone world. And and then there we are. And you can. Why the hell do I have a skin? And you could go to third person. You could crouch. Go down. You can change between your items. You can break blocks and you can place blocks. Oh, that was what I was, the middle scroll button. And you can actually edit them within game if you don't like the controls. Like, you know, I just pointed out there. For why. And you can use Y to do blocks. Well, you might want to change the mouse around as well. To get it back, if you minimize it, you just go into your system tray and do it that way. So, one and two. And there you go. So, this, so that's how you play Minecraft PC Edition with an Xbox or PlayStation controller or any gamepad. Remember to subscribe for more videos, more, t more tutorials like this. And subscribe just generally. I've got plenty of other good videos, got micro videos, Gary's mod videos, Skyrim videos. Just if you aren't already, just click the subscribe button. That is just down below video. And see you all next time, guys. Goodbye. No, oh, by the way, here you do your joystick like that too. Up.